Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Mr. Campbell in my 7th grade Save the Planet t-shirt. You can't really see because the background behind me is dark, I know, but this shirt is suffocating me. Can you imagine this? I wore this shirt on the first day of school in 1990, almost 20 years ago is when I started the 7th grade. I actually started when I was uh, a little bit early because of my birthday. But anyway, uh, enough about that. So we are on RodmanPhilbrick.com. He is the author of Freak the Mighty, and this is a great place where kids and parents can go learn about the author of the book, some of the ideas that he came up with, um, vocabulary, some teaching ideas. We basically have all the lesson plans ready to go for this whole term, but if students want to learn more about the book or about some of the characters and how the author came up with them, um, they can come to this site. This is All Things Freak the Mighty. There was a movie made. You can click up here as you can see the Mighty movie. But um, we'll, t we'll talk a little bit more about this when school starts. But I just wanted to kind of give you this um, um, as a heads up uh, video about the book. Uh, once again, you can see it right up here. It's RodmanPhilbrick.com. Or you can actually just Google Freak the Mighty. And it'll bring up lots of information about it. It actually has its own Wikipedia page. Obviously, it's a book, so it does. But it talks about the movie and the differences between uh, the two. It's a great, great book about friendship uh, and, and, the, and how different people uh, sometimes um, connect. And I just want to share a really quick story while you're on this page. Is It's been 20 years since I was in seventh grade. But there was two kids that I met in seventh grade. One of them's name was Sean, and one of them's name was Jimmy. And to this day, we are best friends. Sean lives in Arizona. I talk to him on a weekly basis. Uh, his parents live right around the corner from me. And Jimmy and I actually see each other two or three times a week in the summer times. We go out to lunch. We go to jazz games together. Our kids hang out now. So the friendships that you develop in seventh grade can last you an entire lifetime. And we're actually going to read about that in Freak the Mighty. Uh, I will actually put some links to this website uh, and some others up on the wiki page. But thanks for visiting and go back to the front page and click on some of the other things we're going to do this year.